Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Are We There Yet? It's going to take a minute to get used to that. My name is Cheryl, and I appreciate you stopping by. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. I'm not going to speak too much about what happened because it was very traumatic <laughs> in life, in the grand scheme of things. It was no, you know, nothing. I mean, compared to what some people are going through in this world, it was nothing. But to me, it was traumatic. Let me tell you. I, I, you know, kept refreshing the page and refreshing the page and nothing was happening. And I was like, what, 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 you know, and I turned my phone off and let it and restarted it thinking, you know, lost internet or something. And it, it just, and then when it came back up and I still couldn't get in, I checked my email and I went, oh no, <laughs> oh no. So I will take responsibility for it. It was my own fault because I did not read what I should have read thoroughly enough. Even though I was, you know, not mistaken about what I said, YouTube, you know, has different different ideas and it's their playground and they can make the rules and we either live by them or we go home, right? So I choose to live by them. It was my mistake and I won't do it again, trust me. So I'd like to say thank you for all of you who rallied behind me. I just felt so loved and so, just so warm, fuzzy. I'm just for clamped. I really am. You all are just absolutely wonderful. I said it before, got the best subscribers out there and you all proved it. I'm telling you, I was just overwhelmed, overwhelmed. I mean, I, I just had to take a little break, you know, and, and uh, just soak it all in because for all the bad that happened, so much good came out of it, and I just, you know, you you all just built me up, and, and you know, I'm here because I, I'm an introverted person. Now, when I'm out, I'll speak to people. I'll go out of my way to speak to people. I'll smile at people. You know, I'm, I'm outgoing, you know, when, I, when I'm out and about, but I, I come home, and I'm exhausted after that. I, I, I can't, you know, exert myself socially for very long because it just exhausts me. So I stay to myself a lot. And this is my outlet. This is something that I do that helps me. And it it, it makes makes me feel like, you know, I'm not, I'm not alone, you know, because I've put myself out there so many times in my life and I've been hurt so many times, you know, it's just like over and over and over I get hurt and, and, you know, after a while you just build that wall and then after you, after you hermit yourself for long enough, then you get to where it just exhausts you if you do interact with people. So this is my interaction and it's not so you know, so hard to bounce back from once it's done. So that's why I'm here. And to share with you also to share with you what I find, because you might need something that I find. And if I can enable, I love enabling. That's, that's my favorite thing. I love to show somebody something and they go, I have to have that. And I like being enabled and I like to enable other people. So that that's fun for me. So that's another reason I'm here. So so thank you very much for all the love and, and support that you showed and for coming here and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. You guys just are amazing, are amazing. Uh, three special thank yous to Miss Talia over at Southern Simple, Erin at Hey Everybody, and Susie at Retro Susie for shouting out uh, to you all where to find me. I appreciate you ladies so much. I, I really do. And you know, it, it means the world to me. I would be there for you guys in a second the same way. I really would. So we did not go camping. I just took a break because I was just exhausted mentally. And my husband had a toothache. He had to go to the doctor and get antibiotics. And then after he got over his toothache, he got sick. So he's been sick and we just decided to just put it off because I, I didn't want him to have to set up the camper and tend to the fire and you know everything while he was sick so we weren't able to go yet 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 we are going so best laid plans my story of my life that's just what happens that's the way it is 
So we will bring you videos of our camping trip. Um, uh, you know, I'm back, I'm feeling better, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go here and camping. So I have a Timu haul for you, of course. <laughs> I have several lined up for you. I've got a few sponsored ones. I have started working with Timu, and but you all know very, very well, you know me very well. If I don't like something, I'm not gonna tell you I like it. The problem is, for me, I like everything. There's no, there's very few items that I've gotten from Timu that I've not been happy with. And that, <laughs> that can get expensive, right? So I was happy when they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to collaborate with them. So those videos will be coming up. One of them is a pet haul and uh, got some really cool, cool things for for my babies and maybe your babies if you see something you like there. So stay tuned for those. Those will be coming up very soon. But this one is just a personal haul, not sponsored. And I just wanted to share with you some fall things that I found. I'm starting to buy some fall clothing items. And um, today, their anniversary sale, they released their anniversary sale and uh, they released their fall fashions. So that's pretty exciting. But these are things that they already had out there because I've already gotten them. So, goodness, seven minutes in, you guys. I'll put a timestamp if you want to just come straight to the hall. I'm overly talkative today. I don't know. It's been a while. That's why I had those other two videos pre-recorded. It's been a while since I've been back. So, anyway, prices will be here. And the links will be below for everything that I show you. So, get yourself something to drink and let's get started. So the first thing I wanna show you a couple clothing items, like I said, that are fallish that I have started picking up and I'll show you a few pieces each video, but I love this. This is a jacket and these colors just spoke to me. It's a little loud for me, <laughs> but with a solid shirt on underneath it, I like it. So here it is, it's got these fall, I think they're Munns or Gurp, Gurp, um, so my, my chair's squeaking, I, I don't know if my fat butt's made, it started squeaking, I don't know why, my husband will oil it, so hopefully that won't be a problem, but don't pay attention to the squeaking, I'm a big girl, you know, I make things squeak when I sit down, but these are what, tell me what these are, I don't know, my mother would know, but I have no clue. But they're really pretty fall colors. It's black background, long sleeved. It's that heavy uh, polyester. It's gathered at the sleeves and at the bottom, which I don't really, I don't really like things that are gathered at the bottom because of my birth and hips, you know. But it, it's it's I got it big enough to where it won't. I, you know, I like things big, and I run hot. So if I would prefer to wear something lightweight and then wear something warm over it so I can take it off, you know, you can only take so much clothes off, but you can always put more on. That's why I like winter better than summer. There's only so much you can take off and not get arrested, right? So, but you can always put things on. So that's typically what I do. I dress in layers, you know, and it's got pockets on both sides of the zipper, just like little muff pockets at the bottom, see? So, and it's got a hood and a drawstring and it zips up. So it's just really, really cute. I love it. I think there, this is available in other color options too, but I just like this very, very much. I have this shirt. It's, it's a short sleeve, but it's very fall. It's cute as can be. Right, let me, Button this. Nope, it's cute. Look, it's made out of the same material and it's black at the top. And now, if, can you imagine if I wore this with that jacket? Goodness gracious, people would see me coming from three towns over. But it, it kind of gradiates um, this orange and then it goes. Down. That's is that that's not really an animal print. I think it's just too scattered to be an animal print, but it might be. I mean, I'll allow it. I'm not really an animal print girl, but. I'll allow it. It's got short sleeves and it's got this cute little gathered top with um, little pleats and buttons. And it's just 
same on the back it's just really cute it's that heavy polyester that's gonna you know sit well on my my birthing hips <laughs> I birthed three babies that's exactly what they are birthing hips and then I have this one this is like a button-up blouse and I really really like this one it's very lightweight so it's going to be perfect for just wearing over maybe a turtleneck or just a solid color t-shirt in the fall it's long sleeved and it's got button a button sleeve and it's orange and kind of a green gray and white just really pretty really pretty it's got black buttons going down the front well, so you know you can wear it closed or wear it open it's really cute I really like this one and I'm hoping with the material I'm hoping I'm, I'm pretty sure that in the dryer those wrinkles will fall out I wish I could stick myself in the dryer I found these shoes oh my gosh y'all <laughs> These shoes are so cute. Look at these. They're suede. I'm sure it's faux suede, but they're suede. And, you know, so I'm not gonna wear them in the rain, but they are so, so pretty, so fall. The tread's not that good, so, but, you know, they've got this wide sole on them. Inside, they've got this little cushion. See their cushion? These feel really good. I've not had too much luck with Timu shoes. I've bought seven or eight pair, and of those, maybe two pair I've kept. That you, do you, If you've been with me a while, do you remember those bling shoes that I had with the bling on the... The heel of that shoe was only this tall. Honest to goodness, it did not even come up over my heel. It was this, it was like a, not quite a mule, but not quite a tennis shoe either, you know, and it aggravated the daylights out of me. It just was not meant for me to have those shoes. So I gave them to my niece and she loves them. So, and I've gotten a pair, a few pair of sandals from them and I couldn't keep them on my feet. They kept, you know, I'd take a step and they'd go off on their own, you know, and so I've rehomed those and, you know, but these, I like these. I really, really like these. So and they're, they're so fallish, you know, and I found this hound's tooth hat. Look how cute. It's got this PU leather here. Every time I say PU leather, I think PU, you know, because it always smells. I don't know. Stop it. But yeah, it has an M on it. That was totally coincidental. You can't choose what it has on it. And I saw that and I went, oh, that is just too adorable. It's got little sets in it. I think there's like seven of them missing. But that's okay. <laughs> but it's got the adjustable back here and it's nice inside. Got the little matching. But yeah, this, this is absolutely adorable. And look, isn't that going to be cute? Isn't that going to be cute? And I bought the pair of earrings to go with this hat. They're absolutely perfect, and I lost them. I lost them. They are in somewhere. What I think what had happened was I had a bunch of these little baggies that the jewelry came in laying on the desk, and I just scooped them all up and threw them in the trash because I was playing with them, and now they're gone. So I ordered them again. <laughs> they're not they're not expensive so when they get here I'm gonna bring this hat back out and I'm gonna show you how, how well they go but these will look cute with this hat check these out yep these will work too they've got um, a little like that PU <laughs> leather on them and they've got a shepherd's hook back but yeah, they, these will go absolutely adorably with this too. So happy accident there, but they're cute. So can you imagine? I mean, I'm just going to be out there styling. I've never styled in my life, y'all. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> so yeah, these earrings are, are adorable. I also got these. Look how cute these are little pearls. There's not a 
design on there. It's just a pearl. That's my ring light. But they've got this little white at the top, this matching, and then it just dangles down into a pearl. Aren't those cute? Yep. Cute. These are cute. I can't, I can't decide what color these are. I mean, they're, they're like a, a rose, a smoky rose color, I guess. But they're cute, and they're different. The, the little thing that goes in your ear is kind of curved around, so I'm anxious to see how those look on. But they're cute. Yep. See that far away? <laughs> I can't see what you're seeing. And then these I got, these are cute. Just little gold or um, yellow dangle earrings. They're a little bigger than I thought they would be, but they're adorable. So these will, these will work well with, they would have worked with this shirt, kind of. Well, speaking of, let me tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my little jersey, my yellow jersey. I've got them in 75 different colors because I love these little old school jerseys. I've got my little kitty cat um, post earrings on. I'll put a closer up picture so you can see them. They're adorable. And then I've got one of my new Timu headbands on. It's hot here, y'all. It's hot. So I'm just trying to be comfortable. This necklace is really neat. I don't know if you've seen these or not. Hold still. So, it, nope, hold still, I said. It's this little four, four part necklace. It's on a gold chain, it's really pretty, but look what it does. It opens up, you can wear it like this. <laughs> Why it insists on showing you the back, I don't know. You can wear it like this too. Isn't that cute? So you can wear it either way. You can wear it open like that or flip it over and close it up and wear it like this. Oh, it's just adorable. Now they have several of these. I have a silver one, I'll show you later, but it, it instead of the little clover type things, it's got hearts. So it's four hearts and you can open it up and wear it like that, or you can close it up and wear it as, you know, just four hearts like that. So yeah, it's really pretty. I thought that was neat. <clears throat> I got, now, <clears throat> Isn't it funny when you're more excited about the packaging than you are the actual thing inside? So, <laughs> this is the neatest thing I believe I've ever seen. Well, one of. This little box opens up and this thing's inside. Look, look trapped in there. Now I didn't know, okay, so I was, it says push. So you push on the front of it here and it opens up and you, it, whatever, whatever you put in there, you could make it pretty and display it. Check this out. Look, Timu sells these. It's just too perfect to store things in. I have some of these ordered. Look at that. And it's supposed to prevent oxidation on your cheaper Timu jewelry. But let me show you the ring that was in there. This is absolutely adorable. And you know, it's an adjustable ring and I do not like the Timu adjustable rings. I, I stay away from them. By the way, I've got my, um, Moissanite, solid, one of my solitaires on too. I didn't show you that. I'll link it below. But this ring, I got it. I was hoping, you know, it would fit on my middle finger. And again, I've got fluid. I've been eating too much salt, y'all. Too much salt. But look how cute this ring is. Well, I don't know why I keep putting it on. Look, it's got a little lock on it. 
Isn't that cute? The only thing I got against it is it's adjustable, you know, and that works for people who have not fat fingers like I do because as much as I have to take it out, that's what it looks like on and the little lock just just kind of dangles. It's it's just adorable. Just absolutely adorable. Look at there. Cute. I'm gonna leave it on. But this 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 is just too funny. I better take them out of there because I'll forget they're in there and then okay. I'll show you some practical things I got. This if you travel a lot and stay in hotels or even if not not a lot, you know, or if you want a, a little extra security at home, which is what you know I got this for. This is a door secure lock thing. And this little this little thing right here goes, okay, you know, on your door, you've got the part that sticks out on the actual door. And then on the door facing, you've got the little hole that it go, that, that goes in, right? <clears throat> this hooks onto the part that is on the door facing. And then you close the door and sandwich it in like that, okay? And this grabs a hold of the side of that hole, you know, in the in the door frame. And then you take this and you stick this in one of these that's closest to the door. You just put it in like that. And this is now even with the door. So if somebody were to try to open that door, this would prevent you, them from opening the door even if it's locked or not it's just an added bonus because this is holding on to the door facing I hope I explained that right but yeah this this is a handy little thing to have and you get this little drawstring bag with it and it's so easy to just put in your suitcase or put in you know in uh, in your glove compartment so that you don't forget it's just a tiny little drawstring and this this is just a little added security you can use it at home you can use it at a hotel you can use it you know um, anywhere you need a little extra you know security I've shown these before but um, I'm a I'm a fan I'm telling you these lights are absolutely wonderful this is just a under the counter light and what you do I've got one laying here wait a second okay what you do is it comes with two pieces you take the magnet part with the magnet on it and you peel off the back and see see how they come in different sizes this is a tiny one you peel off the back of the magnet and stick it on the light then you peel off the back of the little metal part and put it up underneath the lip of your cabinet. And then, you, these are chargeable, You char USB, they'll never run out, you know, you just recharge them. And then, once it's recharged, it's charged up, you stick it up on there and they're motion sensitive. You can have them where they'll only, co they'll come on all day long if they sense motion. You can have it to where it comes on just at night when it senses motion, or you can have it stay on all the time. And you get a choice of yellow light or white light. And it tells you how to set them. If it blinks, if it blinks, well, I'm not, I don't, I don't know, I might get it backwards, but it, it tells you how. So if it blinks twice, I know that's the setting for it'll only come on at night if it senses something. And it'll go off on its own after a few seconds. And then when it senses motion again, it'll come back on. I have these on my kitchen cabinets and they are great. The cat, they're sensitive enough, the cats even, you know, set them off. So these are handy little things. And like I said, they come in so many different sizes and they're just, you know, really handy to have. And they're very inexpensive. All right, what I have next? Got my new scoop. I ordered the two tablespoons. This is the one tablespoon. It turns out the two tablespoons what I needed. But now I got both of them. 
heavy duty stainless steel nice love that I know everybody and their brother showing you these I know because they were six cents back a couple months ago and let me tell you I resisted 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 and then I got one as you know as a free gift one time and I was like well let me try it this is the neatest little thing I either resisted it because I didn't think I'd be able to do it because I'm not coordinated you know I'm not I'm not I just knew that that was just gonna be more trouble than it was worth I was gonna spill water everywhere but this is nice okay what you do is you fill the bottom and you'll know which ones my husband cannot do this to save his life it's not hard but he cannot do this for some reason you put water in here until it comes almost to the top of this and be careful when you put this under the spigot because that <laughs> you will drown yourself I'm serious because that water will hit them little bubbles and just so these little spaces here run the water on those little spaces not in the and don't have it on full blast just PSA but put it almost to the top and then you take the top and you put it on and then you have to watch because when you do this part when you snap it it snaps two times when you do that water will spurt up a couple of these little bubbles it'll spurt up out of there but that's okay because the water will lay on here and then when you crack it the ice will crack on here and you can just dump it out but then three four hours later you've got the neatest little spherical ice cubes i'm having the best time playing with these ice ice forms from timu watch the size when you order them because i i tried to i've gotten the my initial one was this big and I've ordered two more different times. Thought I, thought I ordered from the same seller, the same exact, no, I didn't. And I got little tiny ones. The tiny ones do not work as well. They don't, I've tried them. This is nine and a half inches long. And this is, to me, my opinion, the best size. And I think there's 30, it makes 33. So these are really, really fun. They're fun. I got this, my son went to Lowe's and got some fly traps to put outside where his trash cans are and I found them on Timu for a whole lot cheaper than he paid so I'm hoping it'll work as well but this is what they look like you have to assemble it and I think I've got it right I don't know but it's got this little <clears throat> thing with holes in it and the flies go through there and then they can't get back out it's like a fruit fly thing but this thing is supposed to trap 10,000 flies per trap you add water, the bait's included. So you put the bait in there and add water. Um, last 30 days and it's non-toxic, poison free. So I'm gonna put this outside by my trash cans. <clears throat> and you know, in the summer things hatch, you know? <laughs> and yeah, I don't like flies and I don't like what flies produce and I don't like the way flies eat. If Spare yourself. If you don't know how flies eat, don't look it up. <clears throat> don't look, you, no. But I'm gonna put this out there. Hopefully that'll help my trash man not have to deal with so much yucky stuff. So <clears throat> I got a tomato, like my onion. I love, love, love. My, my neighbor messaged me. She said, can I share some fresh tomatoes with you? Why are you even? <laughs> That's probably the most silly question. Of course. you. <laughs> so she brought them and hung them over the fence. But well, we got them and we love to make sliced tomato sandwiches with, a little, with mayonnaise and a little bit of salt. Oh, on fresh bread. Oh, my gosh. Be still my heart. So this will keep our sliced tomatoes fresh until we these are these are adorable they've got an avocado one they've got a pepper one which i might get the pepper one because we use green pepper a lot and then i already have the onion one so they're good size this will this will accommodate a uh i'm not even going to try to say it the 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 different a big boy i, I think there's different there's different breeds of breeds of tomatoes and breeds of tomatoes so this I got for the camper it's a washboard 
it's a washboard. Isn't that cool? So I have a smaller one, but I thought this, you know, we camp a lot by a little stream, and I thought this would be awesome to use in that little stream, you know, just to, you know, rinse out maybe um, washcloths or our uh, dish cloths or dish towels, you know, things like that. And it's got a soap holder. So I, and you know, and then it's got how you can, you know, steady it on a rock or whatever, or in the sink, you know, if you use it in the sink. But I think this is cute. And I, I, I don't remember what colors it came in, but I got the pink one because I would have gotten a, something more not girly if they had had something more not girly. So I think this comes like in a pink or a blue or something. But well, the, like the blue would not have been girly. But anyway, I got the pink one, so. That's going to be handy to have, I'm sure. This is um, harkens back to my cesarean section days, and you ladies, I'm sure, will know what this is, but I think this is super duper, especially because I go camping. But if, you know, in my opinion, this is a... This is a good thing for any lady to have, right? I'll, I'll just leave it there, and, and you'll know why. So this comes in its little bag. It's a portable bidet. You get your bottle, and then there's two different nozzles. There's this one that's straight, and it's got a little cap on the top, and then there's the little sprayer, and then there's also this one that's angled. So that is really nice to have. And like I said, they've got this to keep it, you know, keep it from dripping all in the bag until you can clean it, you know, effectively. But yeah, these, I, I'm, I'm very, um, I'm, I'm very, very, especially camping, you know, I, I, I like to, I'm not even gonna, you know, you know, if you know, you know, you know, you know. Okay, there you go. But that's handy to have. I like it. Okay, I have a, a few other things. Couple little crafty items. This is adorable, which I thought would be bigger. I, I feel like I'm way down today. I don't know. My husband took my selfie stick, and I didn't. I don't. I don't. I didn't have it. I had to use my ring light tripod. This has. It's a little rubber stamp, and it has an old school date, and then Monday through Friday, and then Monday through Friday, so it has Saturday and Sunday on it, but that's what the stamp looks like. It's just, I remember, I remember seeing this on early correspondence when I was, um, you know, working as a secretary um, back in the day, so you'll probably remember that too. Like I said, I thought it would be bigger, but really that's that's a good size to put on a piece, you know, a journal page. It's not, that would be perfect, you know, to date your pages. If you want to date them like for a December daily or an October daily for Halloween or whatever. I also found these and I went ahead and got all five colors because I liked them. And these are simply, they come with the ring they're simply little cardstock, and you can use them as tags. You can uh, put them down in a pocket in a journal, or you can just adhere them to a page with some uh, tape just to put some color on the page, and then you know write on the front or put a sticker on it, you know just as a background. But they come like this, and I think there's a hundred. It's either fifty or hundred um, little cards, and their colors. This one's, and I, I didn't realize I was getting three different, two different sizes, but these are yellow, and I have the green ones, and they're just really pastel colors, which I love, well, except for this one. <laughs> I've got orange. Now, those three are the same size, and I didn't realize that the other two were smaller. They were cheaper. I should have realized it, but that's the three bigger ones. These will last forever. These will last forever, and then the pink and blue are smaller, which is fine, you know, that's, so I like these, and like I said, they come, they come with the ring, so you just, 
you know, have them for your journals, which I love. I got two new diamond painting pens. I'm not going to get any more. I've got so many pens, but I like the fat ones. I just, I don't like the ones that come with the kits. I like the fat ones. These, this comes with wax and tips, but this is what this one looks like. It's resin and it's got little letters in it. Look how cute. And they're iridescent. Aren't those cute? It's just adorable. So the what I what I do, this is the luminescent one that I showed you the other day. I just put a straightener on one end and a single placer. Now this comes with multi placers, which you know you can use. And I I have used two and three placers before, but I won't go any further than that because your lines can get wonky. And I I prefer square diamond paintings, so especially for square ones, you have to be very you know picky about where you put them. So I usually just use the straightener and the single placer. But this one's adorable. I love that one. Now this, that one doesn't, these don't glow in the dark. They're just pens. You know, the fatter pens to me are more comfortable for me to use. Again, fat finger syndrome I have. So, and this one's really pretty too. Same thing, comes with um, a pad of wax and the placers. Look at this one. It's got little fruits in it. Look! <laughs> How cute is that? They're just resin. You know, they've, they've just put them in a resin, uh, put resin in a mold and just put those little things in it. Little lemons and watermelons and little rainbows, looks like. Cute! Aren't that, isn't that cute? Adorable. I've, I've got so many cute pens. I really do. Used to, these were like $12, $13, on up to $20. And now the prices have really come down. I think they're four something a piece. But that's that's not bad because back, back a couple years ago, those things were really expensive. This is something pretty I got too. I got this on a special deal. So I have... A fountain pen. My husband has a fountain pen and I actually got another one but I really like I like fountain pens and I thought this was really cool and it'd be pretty to have on your desk but it's a quill and it's a fountain pen and it comes with the, the quill and the nibs three different nibs the ink and the stand and they had different colors that you could choose. And I, I got this burgundy one. This is heavy. It's got some weight to it. Isn't that pretty though? This will be a good gift for, you know, somebody like an attorney or a doctor, um, you know, for their office. Sits down in there, the little ink bottle. I'm going to go ahead and take it out, so I'm going to set it on my desk. The little ink bottle sits here. See, just, just old-fashioned. You just feel like you're going to just take it out and write a letter to, to Ben Franklin or something. But that is so pretty. Like I said, they have different colors. But I've got the burgundy one. Okay, this I got for my daughter. This is nice. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. Look at this little guy, little, little little lady. Isn't that cute? She loves foxes. She has she has been a fox. She's loved foxes ever since she was a little tiny thing. This is cute. She's gonna set it, you know, next to her computer, you know, because she's got a, a lot of little anime things. And, and there's also one laying down and she bought that one and then I bought her the one that sits up. But isn't that sweet? So sweet. So she's she's tickled. <clears throat> Cute. I, I tend to show her what I buy her instead of holding things back for Christmas. I probably should do that, but <clears throat> some things she just has to have, you know. I, I it's, it's no brainer. She's just gotta have it. Now these are precious. These are magnets. They're they're like refrigerator magnets. But look what they are. Okay, there's this one, 
this one you get two I bet I bet I bet it's magnets stuck on some somebody else you get two of these this which I cannot even it's a me two of these if you know, you know. One of these. <laughs> oh my god. with these. One of these. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Look at him. <laughs> and then a little one up. I mean, so all of them have a little magnet so you can put them on the refrigerator and make a scene. Too much. I got myself a set and I got my son a set. Too much. Too much. I got styrofoam everywhere now. Now, staying on the gaming line, this these are from Zelda, so if you play Zelda or you know Zelda, you'll see these. This is from the newest game. This is gorgeous. This won't mean anything to a lot of people, but to some people it's everything. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. And then... Yeah. Isn't that cool? It... So it hooks, you go through the top. Yep, that's sweet. And you know, I always say the best for last, right? I always, that's just what I do. So let's get into this. This is fascinating to me. It's a humidifier. Isn't that cool? But you know what it does? The water goes up. Those drops of water go up. You know we're gonna try this. This is just too, I mean, it was just like screaming at me, like, you know you have to try this because it's so neat. I got a green one. I thought I got the green one. So this is what it looks like. And we're going to put some water in it, and we're going to see if it works and see what it does. So is it charged? It, it's, a, it's USB. Do you have to have it? You might have to have it plugged in. So, anti-gravity humidifier is what it's called. So, I'm going to read these instructions, and we'll put some water in it, and then we're going to try it out, okay? I will be right back. Y'all, <laughs> it took a little fiddling with, but I got it going. Look. Look how cool that is. I don't know why it's flashing on your side, because it's not flashing here. But the drops are actually going down, but they look like they're going up. I'm... I'm probably got it and um, see look look at that that is the neatest thing they're supposed to be the humid humidifier part the this mist is supposed to be coming out of here but it's not and I don't know but that is really cool it does look like they're going up and not down It's a little, it's loud, but you know, it, it sounds like a fountain, you know, kind of thing. There is a clock on the front, and I, I haven't figured out how to set that yet. The digital clock on the front. But yeah, that's really cool. And you can change it to have it just drip like that with no light. But I don't see. I don't see the mist coming out from, you know, the humidifier part. And you have to have it plugged in to use it. It's not chargeable. And then you turn it off, you just touch it. Really neat. Well, I'm fascinated with that. Now, it says in the instructions, do not put any essential oil or um, thing, anything like that in it. So, just so you know, if you want one. But yeah, it's it's really nice. I like the water sound. I'm not, it says, fine spray. So, but yeah, this is, this is nice. This is, this is fun. 
that's fun. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, come on and join us and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And comment below if, uh, if you saw anything that you liked, if you had saw something that you had to have. Any comments, any likes, any interaction with my channel at all helps me and it helps us grow. So we would really appreciate it. And thank you for the super thanks. I meant to mention that. Those of you who have sent, sent us super thanks, thank you so much. I know I had a few on the other channel and I was going to mention them in individually, but I do not have access to that now. But uh, those of you who, do, who did that for us, thank you so very much. We really appreciate it. So... Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again soon. Until then, happy shopping.